Hey, what is going on everybody? It is your boy Carnage AK, also known as Primitive AK here, back with another class setup for you guys today. Today we are here with yet another class setup video for you guys. You guys have been absolutely killing the support on the support on the uh for the channel on the videos. Really do appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on my videos recently. It means the absolute world to me. However, if you guys are new to the channel and you guys are just recently checking out my channel my live streams all that good stuff make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as i do be i will be posting daily videos until further notice uh, as i am pumping out these videos as much as i can to help you guys improve your game at call of duty so hit that subscribe button comments on the video if you guys are enjoying this and or have a suggestion for a class setup that you guys would like to see and also leave a like on the video appreciate you guys always showing that love to the channel but without further ado let's get right into today's video so for today's video, we're going to be talking about the Rampart 17. Now, I actually hated this gun when it first came out. I wasn't a big fan of it. I thought it was not really that good, and it was overhyped because, just because it looked like the Scar from previous CODs. But after playing around with some attachments on this gun, this gun is pretty much low-key a beast, especially at certain ranges. Uh, you just got to learn how to use it properly, and I think the right attachments will certainly help you to manage to like this gun a lot more. I did actually get this gun gold as I'm doing this commentary as well. I managed to finish it just over the weekend, so I did manage to get some decent play time with it and figured out some attachments you guys would like so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and put a screenshot on the video in the top right hand kind of corner for you guys to see and it's going to be obviously the rampart 17 as you guys can see i got that gold camel on there it looks really nice now this isn't required but this is what i'd recommend i would strongly recommend that you guys put a red dot sight on your rampart now a lot of people are saying the iron sights are pretty accurate enough where you can see things pretty well but I just don't like that part of my view is obstructed due to iron sights, and that happens with a lot of guns, which is why I use Red Dot on almost every single class setup video. Uh, but like I said, this isn't required, you don't have to go with it, this is just my personal suggestion. But the Red Dot sight is going to help you be a lot more accurate, especially at distance, and this type of weapon is obviously meant for distance. It's an assault rifle, you're meant to be challenging people at medium ranges. Long range is a little bit risky, but you can sometimes get away with it. Uh, the next two attachments we're going to be going with are the high caliber one and the high caliber two now what the high caliber one does it's going to give you more headshot damage now a lot of people don't realize and i'll probably talk more about this on stream or in a video that high caliber will give you insane amounts of headshot damage this game is all about headshots a lot of people are complaining about the time to kill in this game but the reason why the time to kill is the way it is is because of the fact that headshot damage is multiplied well over two times you get almost double damage just over double damage when you get headshots on this game and that's something that a lot of people don't realize so you want to be going for those headshots now i don't know the exact stats on the headshot damage multiplier when using high caliber that's probably something we'll have to wait on drifter to find out when he digs through the files and gets more information from other credible sources but as far as we know headshots are certainly going to turn your time to kill into anywhere from around five to six shots to kill to as low as two to three shots to kill uh, depending on what mode you're playing, obviously hardcore, it's always going to be a one shot to the head, no matter what. Uh, but regardless, high caliber is a must on this gun. Now, let's talk about high caliber 2, because you're probably wondering, why would I want high caliber 2 when I already have exceptional headshot damage? As you guys can see, I get a nice headshot there. Uh, but you're probably wondering, why would you need more headshot damage with high caliber 2? Well, that's not quite what high caliber 2 does. High caliber 2, it doesn't give you extra headshot damage. What it does is it actually gives you extra torso and above damage so you're actually getting stopping power built into the gun uh, you get extra bullet damage now that extra bullet damage only applies when you're hitting people just above their torso i believe uh, so chest and above i believe will give you extra damage that'll turn your time to kill a lot less from what it was previously so on top of having insane amounts of headshot damage you even get extra body shot damage as well so that's something that a lot of people overlook on the rampart now you're probably th th here's the thing high caliber 2 isn't a necessity i've played a few games without it and i didn't notice too much of a difference in my time to kill but at longer ranges that's when you're really going to start to notice that and it certainly will help with winning those gunfights due to other high damage weapons that can potentially outgun you i'm looking at you icr7 yes we all know how overpowered you are 
But uh, overall, High Caliber 2, I feel, is a very, very great attachment to be using on your uh, gun. You can certainly swap that out for a grip, and I'll get into the grip in a second. There's two different variations you could go with. You could use the High Caliber 1 and 2, or you could swap out High Caliber 2 and put the grip on it. If the grip is not required, in my opinion. I feel like this gun's got decent enough recoil where it doesn't really need it. Uh, but that's really dependent on your own accuracy. If you have a bit of some trouble trying to land your shots, definitely take off the high caliber 2 and put something like the grip on it to help you out at those longer ranges and help you out with managing uh, side to side and vertical recoil. The next attachment we're going to be talking about is the fast mags. Now, me personally, I'm a type of guy that loves to run around the map all over the place. But I'm the type of player that'll be in your face at all times running around with a gun, no matter what it is, an SMG, AR, sniper. So fast mags, I need to be able to reload as quickly as possible. But if you're playing a little bit more passive, fast mags isn't required. But I strongly recommend that you use it regardless because you never know what's going to happen. That extra reload speed is certainly going to help you out with managing, with managing uh, your time properly. The next attachment... Uh, not attachment, but uh, we're gonna be using the stim shot for the gear. Now you can you don't have to use the stim shot. There's also body armor, but I don't recommend using body armor, which for some reason a lot of people are still clinging on to from the beta. But the body armor doesn't necessarily do anything, so you're going to want to be using stim shot. You can basically spam your heals as much as possible, and you won't have to worry about uh, you know taking too much damage and not being able to heal, heal because your stim shot has to uh, heal has to recharge back up. And as you guys can see, I'm absolutely going in on this spawn. The recon class is certainly helpful in these types of scenarios. Scenarios. But uh, as you guys can see, I basically deleted that guy in three bullets because of high caliber helping me out there. And you guys can see how quickly I'm deleting these guys with high caliber too. That extra bullet damage is certainly going to help me out at long range. And that's something that you really need to take into account, especially if you're a type of player like myself where you're always going to be in the enemy spawn or you're just a player that likes to run around and uh, get a ton of kills. But that's really dependent on you. The perks we're going to be using on this setup are the scavenger, lightweight, and ghost obviously streaks are a little bit harder to get on this game a lot of people are kind of struggling getting their streaks so the only streak that people seem to be able to get right now is the uav which is going to be spammed like crazy this always happens in a call of duty everybody's new to it everybody's still learning the game so uavs are pretty much the only streaks that are going to be called in you're going to want to be staying off that radar as much as possible now bear in mind ghost does not apply if you are not running around the map if you guys look at the mini map you guys see my character the little yellow circle actually starts graying out in the opacity that's because of the fact that ghost is kicking in and I'm no longer on the enemy's radar but once I stop moving that yellow that yellow arrow on my screen is gonna go back to full opacity and that means that I'm spotted on the radar if there's a UAV active if there's not a UAV active then we're good to go but ghost definitely a necessity on this game as much as I hate dealing with it you certainly are going to need it to be able to deal with the UAVs being spammed all all across the board certainly and uh, as you guys can see, the streaks that I'm using in this game, the UAV counter and the helicopter, a nice little combination for both keeping track of where the enemies are and also the helicopter to get me a decent amount of kills. But the Rampart 17 is going to take some getting used to. I'm telling you now, from my personal experience, you're certainly going to hate this gun when you first use it. But once you actually get used to it, you can actually figure out what attachments work best for you. And uh, this gun can certainly go in with a lot of work and uh, overall... Just a really great performing weapon. Now, hardcore, obviously, this gun's gonna pretty much one shot at almost every single range. So, for you hardcore players, uh, I recommend taking high caliber 2 off. Uh, or just completely taking off high caliber altogether and maybe swapping out high caliber for, for something like FMJ. What FMJ will do is that's certainly going to help you out with destroying enemy body armor. Um, these class setups are certainly, I try to tailor them to as much as I can to the game mode that you're playing. And also don't force yourself to play, the, play with this gun the way that your playstyle is used to. I sometimes make the mistake of trying to use a gun uh, to my potential instead of using the gun to its potential what i mean by that is basically assault rifles are obviously meant for medium to long range gunfights they're not necessarily meant for full hardcore rushing but obviously my playstyle disagrees with that so i'm going to try to make it work to my playstyle instead of working with the gun to its strengths you certainly want to try to work with the gun's strengths and this gun is very very helpful at long range not necessarily at close range because you're going to be dealing with you know other better ars like the icr for example which is good at both close range and long range but overall 
this gun is absolutely amazing anyways guys if you guys are new to the channel make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe as i do as many class setups as possible for you guys and as you guys can see this is a really sticky situation that i managed to get myself out of just before the game ended but make sure you guys leave a like on the video subscribe if you guys are new i appreciate you guys always showing the support i will catch you guys in the next one as always Appreciate you guys showing that love to the channel. Catch you guys in the next video. It is your boy, Carnage AK, also known as Primitive AK, signing out. Peace out.